What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the God who is billionaire. Welcome to Who's Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about Shaquille O'Neal. Since he can't speak on the Ime Udoka situation, man, he's a serial cheater. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so Shaq in a recent podcast. Uh, when was when he was asked uh, by a female co-host to speak on the situation with Ime Udoka, Shaq said he ain't had no words for it. He said he didn't. He not finna come out and say what somebody shouldn't do and speak negative on somebody. You know what I'm saying during a time because he's been caught cheating. He's a serial cheater. This is what Shaq said. These are Shaq's words. He's a serial cheater. You know what I'm saying? He was good at it, and he ended up losing his family. You know what I'm saying? Losing his wife and his family because of cheating. So he said he's not going to be a hypocrite and say what this man should or shouldn't do. All he can do is speak on his situation and say he's cheated. He's cheated a lot, and he lost his family from cheating. And he's saying that, um, that you know, he pray he may is able to keep his family together with him and Nia Long and they son. You know what I'm saying? That's that's pretty much that's what Shaq's saying now. Um, how do I feel about this situation? I love it. I love Shaq standing in his truth and not being a fucking hypocrite. That shit happens so much. Niggas love speaking on shit that nigga you do it. You feel what I'm saying? You do that. You can't. It's is. I, I hate people that are hypocritical. You feel what I'm saying? It's like I'm like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like if I'm if I'm if we speaking on a situation and motherfuckers speaking on some shit that I know I didn't did, I'm either not going to speak on the situation or when I speak on it, I'm going to say I really ain't, really ain't got much to say about this because I didn't did that before. You feel what I'm saying? So I can't really speak on that. Now, as a man, yes, I've cheated. I've had issues with cheating also as well. So, you know, when I'm speaking on e it was just more so like, hey, e you know what I'm saying? You got Neil Long at the house. You got to have some discernment and some discipline. But I spoke on the fact that I've cheated before. You feel what I'm saying? I was a serious cheater. I lost a really good woman. I lost a really good woman before. I'm talking about a, a, a great woman. I'm talking about a really solid someone. I'm speaking, I'm speaking from experience. I lost a really beautiful, really great, really great spirit, really great personality, a really great woman behind cheating. I've done it being behind being a serial cheater and not having any control, any discipline over myself, over my mind, over my body. You feel what I'm saying? So when I talk this discipline shit, I'm talking from a person that lived what he talking about. You feel what I'm saying? I've been through it. It made me lose a, a, a potential wife. You know what I'm saying? It hurt me. And I was close with her family. You feel what I'm saying? And, and that helped me grow. I did. I refused to keep making the same mistakes after that. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, you know what? I got to get some motherfucking discipline. You know what I'm saying? I got to be able to be able to say no. I got to be able to be in any situation and be able to have the discipline and be like, I'm good. And I ain't trying to do none of that. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't trying to fuck off on my girl. I ain't trying to fuck off on my wife. You feel what I'm saying? You know, and it took years to grow that discipline. It's not like that's some shit that just happened the next day. It literally took me years to get like this. You feel what I'm saying? Years. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I, 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 I salute Shaq. I salute Shaq for being a solid stand-up man. You know what I'm saying? And not being no motherfucking hypocrite and letting it be known, hey, this shit can happen to anybody. You feel what I'm saying? Now, this is a Eurocentric society, so... Am I going to sit up here and say that polygamy is the only way to live life? Absolutely not. That would just be fucking wrong. You just got to be real about that. There is no real one way to really do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, that just doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean monogamy. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say polygamy. I meant, is monogamy the only way? Is monogamy the only way? Absolutely not. You feel what I'm saying? Monog being in a monogamous relationship... Shit, King Solomon had hella wives. You know what I'm saying? That's in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? King David had hella wives and concubines. Motherfuckers was, that's been, and if we gonna go past the Bible because I'm just using that as a, a reference point because in this Eurocentric, you know, um, uh, America, America is very Eurocentric and has a lot of Western ideologies. Just based on that, obviously polygamy was something that even the people in the Bible practice. You feel what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying about that. Now, 
Um, uh, like I said, it just depends on the person. You feel what I'm saying? If you're a monogamous person, y'all go check out my red pill, blue pill video. If you're a monogamous person, if that's in your spirit where I just really only want to deal with one woman, then just deal with one woman and have the discipline to be like, you know what? I love my one woman. I don't need to fuck off. You know what I'm saying? And if she really a winner, she'll bring another woman. You feel what I'm saying? If she, if she really, if she really a winner and she really saying, you know what? This man has, has, has put upon me the responsibility of taking care of his sex drive. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same vice versa with the woman. You know what I'm saying? But woman, this man has, has, has put the responsibility on me for taking care of his sex drive. You feel what I'm saying? So if y'all need to spice it up and bring another chick and get another chick involved, so be it. You know what I'm saying? Once again, there's no one right way to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Whether you polygamous and you want to be with multiple women, if that's what you want to be, then be that. Just have the mind and spirit for it. You know what I'm saying? The patience for it. Because you is it's like really being in a relationship with two different human beings. You got to be built for that. You have to have the love and the discipline and the mindset and the spirit for a situation like that. To help two women grow, to be a leader of two women, to have the conversation, to have the 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 the, the spiritual knowledge, the emotional intelligence to deal with two women, that takes a lot. You feel what I'm saying? But if you're that type of man, then by all means live that type of life. And let that be clear with every woman that you're dealing with. That you feel what I'm saying? Hey, I'm this type of man. You know, if you're okay with this, then this is what I can offer you. If you're not okay with it, we can still be friends and keep it moving. It's not hard. You feel what I'm saying? Stop not telling women what you want and being up front. Stop not telling women what you want and being up front. Stop not telling women what you want and being up front. Be up front. Be up front. You know what I'm saying? Now, the niggas that be killing the game is the nigga that'll have a wife, have a family, and then you turn around and love a whole nother woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, now you in love with a whole nother woman now. You feel what I'm saying? Like, oh, I, you you telling her you love her, you spending money on her, you doing all that. I mean, that just goes against the code. You feel what I'm saying? That's 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 simping, man. You fucking up your family. You feel what I'm saying? And if you that type of man, like I said, you need to let that be known from the beginning with your woman. You know what I'm saying? But I agree with Shaq in this particular circumstance. I agree with him 100 percent. You feel what I'm saying? Don't be a hypocrite. All you can do is pray for the situation. And I pray they do heal and get it together. And I pray he may learn from this. It's not a lot of black coaches in the NBA, bro. You Sometimes you have to have extra discipline because there's people coming behind you. You feel what I'm saying? So even if whatever, I don't know what arrangement they had. I don't know what's going on with them. But for all we know, she could be okay with that type of shit as long as it don't leak out in the public. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so we don't know. You know what I'm saying? But... What I will say is that, um, you know, niggas just got to just, especially when you the one, you feel what I'm saying? When you, when you lead in something, it's like, bro, you got to, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes because of the people that's coming behind you, you got to, you got to bite that bullet. You know what I'm saying? Because you represent more than just yourself. You feel what I'm saying? So, and uh, that's just what it is. And shout out to Jason Tatum just because he from the crib and, you know what I'm saying? I know he a part of this. You know what I'm saying? You got young men looking up to you, man. So you got to set the right example. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Y'all think Shaq was right about that to not be a hypocrite? Y'all think he still should have spoke on it? You feel what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. This is the guy who is being there. Big favor, big abundance. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. This is the guy who is being there. Big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.